Can anybody tell me what's basically the main job of the heart? What's the most important thing that happens? Pumping. 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 The blood. Pumping the blood. It pumps the blood, right? And oxygen. Hmm. That's what the lungs do. Well, what did we say about the blood? The blood actually goes Go to in a circle. It goes to a circle, right? And part of that circle is going in and out of the lungs, right? Yeah. When the yeah. lung, when the blood vessels go inside the lungs, they're coming to get oxygen. And when the blood vessels leave the lungs, they already absorbed oxygen, ready to go back into the heart, full of oxygen and minerals, and ready to be pumped all over our body to help our organs and muscles function and help us be healthy. So the lungs, we say lungs, not lung, because we have two yeah. lungs. And the job of the lungs is to absorb the oxygen from the air. So if this, oh, somebody messed it up. When we breathe in air, we call it inhaling. So this is called inhaling. And I can feel my chest get full of air. And when I exhale, I feel my hair deflate. So let's inhale. And you feel your lungs full of air and your chest kind of expands, right? And when you exhale, your lungs deflate and your chest kind of deflates as well, right? Yep. So the air goes through your nose or mouth, but the nose has two nostrils and inside those nostrils, there are hairs that basically help um, get all the dirt out of the air and catches it, it stays in there. So it goes inside this main tube and then this tube gets divided to two and each one goes in the separate lung, the left lung and the right lung and the air gets distributed to both lungs. The air that we breathe has all kinds of different um, gases. The main gas that we need is oxygen. So we breathe in and all kinds of gases come into our body. But our lungs don't need anything but Oxygen. Can you guys say oxygen? Oxygen. Yes. Our body needs the oxygen. The lungs take the oxygen. And when we exhale, we exhale carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is actually poisonous gas. If we breathe it and we have no oxygen out there, we won't be able to live, okay? This is what trees do, boys and girls. They take the carbon dioxide and they turn it into oxygen. oxygen. So we have to make sure that we keep a lot of trees around so we can always have oxygen, okay? Now, when a person, um, has a maybe one lung or part of a lung and a half or something like that, you can still survive. You don't need both lungs. A lot of people have, for different reasons, might lose a lung or have some damage done, but you can live with less than two lungs, one lung or something. One way to keep your lungs healthy is to exercise. It's very important to keep your, um, the air that you breathe clean and the way you do that is no smoking 
and try not to buy things or um, be around places that like factories or if you have a car try to buy a car that doesn't pollute the air because humans and animals and trees don't need that dirt in the air we need to try and keep our environment clean so our lungs our oxygen is taken care of and not polluted polluted means dirty and again by eating healthy things not being too fat not being like eating things that are too sugary or too high in fat is not good for your lungs either and taking daily exercise even if it's just a walk it makes you makes the ability for your lungs to accept the oxygen and the oxygen going into your bloodstream a lot easier so do you guys have any questions about the lungs Yes, the harsh. Why does your long, long help your heart? Why do the lungs have what? Why do the lungs have those lines? Oh, the lungs. Which lines? These lines? Yes. Oh. It's almost. I could, I don't know how. Okay. Do you? Can you think of a tree? Yeah. And how? The trunk of the tree is fat, yeah. and then the branches get thinner yeah. and thinner and thinner. That's basically what's going on in the lungs. If those lines get so thin, they're thinner than a hair. Yeah. And the oxygen gets absorbed by that, and that's how it gets transmitted into the bloodstream. Does that make sense? It goes like from large to smaller to smaller to smaller to smaller to small. Almost we have to have a microscope to see. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Yes. How does the lung pump the air? The brain is in charge of that mechanism of breathing in and breathing out. We breathe even if we're fast asleep. This is breathing. And that's what fills the lungs with air and also what helps us exhale and get the air out of our lungs. That's called breathing. And the brain, again, is that kind of like very, very good computer that takes care of those functions even if we're fast asleep. Do you think you need to breathe faster when you exercise? Yes because your body needs more oxygen. Yes. Um, yeah, you can live with one lung. Uh, Just that one lung will take care of business. Okay. We'll do the job, yep. works yeah how does it work what happens to the other one is that what for different happens? reasons yeah I don't know exactly but for different reasons sometimes things yeah. happen different reasons 